Hi, I'm Jennifer, and in today's video, I'll be talking a little bit about acupuncture. Acupuncture is one of the modalities used within the much larger umbrella of traditional Chinese medicine. An acupuncturist places thin pins at certain points in the body to elicit a healing response. Acupuncture involves working with the body's qi. Qi is considered the basic life force that runs through everything, including our bodies. So in our bodies, qi runs through channels or meridians. These channels or meridians are related to things like the emotional state, um, related to different internal organs, related to different fluids and tissues in the body. And sometimes this qi can become stagnant or deficient. When this qi is stagnant or deficient, it's not able to promote healing or properly nourish the body. Western science is finding more and more ways to explain the effectiveness of this ancient system of healing. Theories include the activation or the release of certain muscle groups, the involvement of the nervous system and the immune system. Other theories include the idea that the channels or meridians actually run through the connective tissue or the lymphatic system, or maybe even involve the electromagnetic field that the human body radiates. Personally, I find it helpful to stick to explanations using the language of Chinese medicine, but it can also be interesting to use more Western explanations using more anatomical or scientific perspectives. The needles we use in acupuncture are thin, flexible, and sterile, whereas the needles that draw blood are hollow, they're thicker, and they actually tear tissue. When the needle is inserted, you may feel a little prick, but generally most people feel a kind of dull pressure. It can be pretty interesting for people who have never had acupuncture to feel the sensation of the chi being targeted as the acupuncture needle enters the body. I have seen the benefits of acupuncture over and over again. Acupuncture treats the whole person. When you go to see a practitioner, they'll generally start with a comprehensive intake process. They'll ask about things like your energy levels, your digestion, your sleep patterns. They'll listen to the tone of your voice and listen to your pulse. All of these things will give them a holistic picture of what's happening in your body and mind. From there, the practitioner takes this information and creates a diagnosis based on these clues or this information. Once the practitioner has established a diagnosis, they'll base their selection of acupuncture points and herbal medicine on that diagnosis. A typical acupuncture treatment, including the intake process, takes about an hour and it usually involves some time where the patient is just lying on the table with the needles in, really allowing the acupuncture needles to do the work. I hope that gives you a little more information about acupuncture and how it works. Thanks so much for watching and visit me over at jenniferray.com for more information and to sign up to my mailing list.